In this video, we're going to show you how to retire a policy to your archive. There's two main reasons why you might need to retire a policy to your archive. The first is that you're superseding a policy with another policy that's been adopted by the board. In such cases, you'll want to navigate to your draft policy that is superseding your current policy. That policy should be in Policies Under Consideration. Open that policy for editing. Change the status to Active. Make any adjustments needed to move it to your active policies. Enter an adopted date. And save. When you save, you'll have two policies at the same code. Edit the existing policy that you're replacing. Change the status to retired. Enter a retired date. And save. Saving that change retires the policy into your archive with the retired date. Another reason why you might need to retire a policy into your archive is if your board has deleted a policy from your manual. Although the board has deleted a policy from your manual, you will need to retire that policy to your archive. Navigate to the policy that the board has deleted. Open that policy for editing change the status to retired, and enter the retired date. Again, that policy will, re will be retired into your archive. It's important to note, if you're in your active policies and you right-click on a policy, there is an option to delete. But this option should be used for extenuating circumstances and is rarely used to retire or archive a policy. If you should happen to delete a policy by accident, please don't hesitate to call Board Doc Support. It's important to go back after retiring a policy and update any cross-references to that policy. I recommend that you go back to the active policies and do a search for that code. Once you've executed this search, you'll know what policies reference the previous policy, and you can then go in and update those cross-references. If you have any questions about retiring a policy to your archive, you can contact Board Doc Support at 1-800-407-0141, extension 1. Thank you.